Innovating Education Learning World in association with WISE, an initiative of Qatar Foundation. A history lesson can be taught in different ways in Ukraine, a country known for its controversial heritage. Divided between those nostalgic for the Soviet Union and supporters of independence. Let's see how history is being shared in two different schools in Lviv and Kiev. Since independence in December 1991, Ukraine has struggled to reconcile its Soviet-Russian past with its more European national heritage. This makes teaching history even more complicated than normal. Today there's no pressure. Personally, in my work, I agree with Mark Bloch. A historian doesn't have to judge. A historian has to explain. Therefore, we try to present different points of view. One of the trickiest, most sensitive parts of the curriculum concerns World War II, when nationalist insurgents fought first against the Nazis and then against the Soviets. There is a general teaching guideline, the concrete dates and events that are to be taught to the students. And of course, teachers have their own position and can offer their own point of view and ask students for their opinions on the issue. I want to learn history very much. Since we can't build a proper future without knowing our past, this is really very important. 20 years after independence, Ukrainians are still finding the balance between Europe and Russia. And part of the answer lies in teaching history. So, what do you think of education during and after the Soviet Union? Share your ideas with us on our social media pages. And now, a word about our poll on gender inequality in education. The majority of our visitors on social media believe educators and governments are not doing enough to close the gender gap. Well, that's it for now. Goodbye. Learning World, in association with WISE, an initiative of Qatar Foundation.